Tiger Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tiger Lily Squad gang gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? Welcome. It's your girl. <laughs> it's me. Yo, sis, for like the last seven years, Essence of Shay. How you doing, family? What's good? So I heard, I heard that some of y'all want to lock your hair in three months. I got some tips for you. Let's get right into the video. So the first thing is, is how fast your hair locks deter is determined on the texture of your hair. So if your hair is like 3C, 3B, kind of 4A, it's going to take a while for your hair to lock. And I'm saying a while like eight to one year eight months to a year probably even longer because i remember my first set of locks right it took i remember it taking almost two years for that that junk to actually lock up so hmm, that's the first the first tip it all depends on the texture of thy hair if you have 4B, 4C hair, it's a little more coarse. Um, some people say nappy, they rude as heck. They fresh and out of order. But um, that hair will grasp more quicker um, and form a lock, I feel like, more faster than, like I said, a 3B, 3C, things like that. Number two is how you start your locks will impact that as well. So I feel like this one was a little iffy for me to write down only because it's like trial and error. Because a person who can start with coils, depending on their texture, might lock up like that. The same person start with two strand twist feel like it probably locks up quicker as well but then reverse it some people with coils it just don't last and like your first wash that whole sucker is out as opposed to two strand twist you can kind of keep it in a little longer and don't really have to worry about you might have a few hair or there that come out so I feel like, yes, it is depending on how you start your locks, but it also goes right back to the texture of your hair. I don't care. This is just my opinion. I could be dead wrong. Let me just put that out there. But I don't feel like if you have 3C hair or 3B, 3B, 3C hair and you start off with comb coils that your hair is going to lock up quicker your hair is going to lock up quicker um than the person who has 4B and starts with two strand twist because with the 3B hair comb coils seem like that would make sense and you probably your hair will probably adjust to that a little bit more quicker cuz the hair is so fine does that make sense? I feel like I'm mumbling, but it makes sense in my head. Three, another way to possibly get your hair to lock in three months is to schedule regular lock maintenance routines. Whether you're doing it by yourself or you're getting a professional to do it, I feel like in the first three months, you kind of want to be on a schedule and kind of have some sort of consistency because now you're training your hair to do what it needs to do the first three months you know what i mean so i feel like if you every month or every six weeks you say yo 
I'm going to get this done. I'm going to wash, retwist, da 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 da. Your hair starts to get used to it, then not coming out of whatever it is, it's now training to stay in that little loop, stay in that coil, stay in that twist. So get a get a schedule routine schedule out your routine just like you schedule out everything else in your life sis schedule her out too okay number four i said this earlier did i say it earlier i said it in my last video i don't remember but water water is moisturizing but it's also drying it dries quickly as well so what i mean by that so if i spray my hair right now this lock right here will get like really juicy right and all the hair is just like doing this thing in there but once it starts to dry it's drying and like the 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 strands are like merging together right it swells it contracts and it does its thing and this is what helps it grow right so the water poofs it up, contracts, and gets this tight little, I sound like a whole scientist. It makes sense. Nah. <laughs> Swell, contract. Yes. Add water to your hair. Jesus. Last but not least is to avoid manipulation. So like I told you in my last video, I believe, I talked about like, I showed you like my, my styles and stuff that I'll do my hair, I guess in my ugly stage. Um, but for the most part, I try to just leave my hair alone and let it just, just let her just do her thing. Because I noticed like if, even if it's just a top knot, it stretches out the lock even if I just had it in for the day, it would stretch it out. And that's not what we want. We want it to firm up because when it firms up, we know it's locking and we're getting that juiciness, right? You can still get that juiciness when it's stretched out, but I want thicker locks. So the manipulation is not going to help with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, styling my hair all the time. And then if I am styling it, putting it on some tight, constrictive styles that defeats the purpose in my eyes like i said i am not the bible of locks so i can definitely be wrong if you guys think that anything that i say said was incorrect or correct or you want to add more stuff put it in the comment box below let's start a discussion if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe those are my tips if you want to get your hair locked in three months or you just like me and you just letting your hair just do its thing trish she got some may consider this one locked some may consider this one locked there might be some that are just budding and some that are still kind of loose but trish is doing her thing so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe I will see you later, Tiger Lilies. Uh, crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with